Now that uh, is culture vulture. Sequoids, welcome to Merrily Merrowed. I'm coming to you today as Nian Puar from the lovely uh, Kubota, Kubota Gardens in Seattle. And it's a, a lovely Japanese themed uh, park. This beautiful pond that I wouldn't swim in um, now that I'm looking at it, but uh, you can if you're daring. And all in all, it's a beautiful park. Uh, the gates are up and the park's signs are misleading. It says it's closed, uh, but then there's a tiny little sticker over it that says until 9.30 p.m. So uh, there are a few people here, and like I said, I'm trying to do this quickly so that uh, I don't bother these fine folks trying to enjoy their day. But uh, I did want to review this, this garden. This is one of the, the few that uh, pre-COVID I had looked into coming to do some mermaiding. And I believe these used to be koi ponds and that they had uh, live koi swimming. and I mean, it looks pretty algae ridden right now, so I'm guessing that uh, whatever koi were here are not here because, of course, if the parks are closed, then there's nobody here to uh, uh, take care of them, right? So, uh, I'm going to uh, entail or not entail, so to speak, uh, view the park, and I don't know if they'll let me walk around in my bikini. We'll, uh, We'll test that and see how it goes, <laughs> but uh, it does say on their website that professional photographers have to get a, a special license to film here, but uh, between you and me and my uh, 19 subscribers on YouTube and three of them being my brother, uh, I'm guessing that that's probably, I'm not making a lot of money off of this, Yeah, I'm probably losing money in gas and uh, I don't know, expenses. <laughs> whatever those are, uh, to be doing this, but um, I did want to do one last video in my uh, in Mian's, uh Amazon tale because on Monday I'm going to be getting my Aquarius Mermaid tales, and I'm very very excited. But uh, I have been encouraged by the mermaiding community to stop using this tale as it is a ripoff of. Um, an older swim tails design so I'm trying to be compliant and be respectful and uh, but I thought this this has been one of my uh, go-to tales so I figured we'd have one last fun day and um, enjoy the beautiful sun there is not a cloud in the sky and it is lovely so uh, Kubota Park Let's, uh, oh. Oh. This struggle is real. Let's take you on a scenic tour of these Kubota gardens, huh? As you like it, as I see it. Let's get the gear, let's go. You can see the lovely landscaping. Here's the other side of the pool. These little Japanese uh, pagodas. Bridges are very classy, right? Yeah. the bridge they featured on the website. It's beautiful. 
And I heard tell of a waterfall. You can kind of hear it up here. Oh yes, that's nice. Got a group of kids just laughing at me, but what else is new, right? Me too. Here it's up here. Oh, it's like a babbling brook. That's fucking nice. That's uh, that's beautiful. A miniature waterfall. Oh, let's see where it comes from, huh? On the bridge. Beautiful. We'll just take this path up, huh? Let's see what we see. Oh, this is so not a path. Oh my heavens. This is like. Let's walk into this weird little cove. Um, I like it. I'm gonna live here. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get the hell out of here. Is what I'm gonna do. So out of that little waterfall area, I'm gonna check this out. It looks like it leads to a pond, and then up there, I'm guessing, is where the rest of the waterfall is. Let's check it out. But in the interest of finding more places to to perch and look on, let's uh This is beautiful. I wonder how much trouble I would get in for swimming in this. <laughs> Probably a lot. Probably I didn't bring my towel. Try not to get any of these fine folk in the video. But it does look like you can kind of trace the uh, waterfall up. And it's got a bunch of caution tape for some reason around just this little area. That's lovely, isn't it? How about that? How do you feel about that? Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll go down this trail a little bit and see uh, see if there's anything better, but we might come back to this. But in this lovely cove. Have another beautiful bridge. This one's very steep. Oh, and a lovely overarching view. Now this one's much clearer. I'm wondering which one was the koi pond. I think I like this. I think this is nice, yes. Pause for a break here. Or I guess uh, I'm gonna stage my shot and you're gonna watch. If you're watching in the first place, which probably not. I do... That would be a nice shot, but I... am not here with a partner, so... Oh, well, you know, if I could get to that, like... In the middle there, I don't know how much trouble I get into that. I'm surprised how uh, touristy this place is. There's a lot of people. Seems like a lot of people, but, uh, well, I don't know what to call it. I was from Seattle, but uh, a lot of people out and about so it's kind of nice. Very peaceful here.
really don't know what to shoot because I can't do like, performance or anything like that. There's a lot of people here. Oh, they're real nervous. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep finding places to, to photo shoot. And, uh, for the best. I, uh, I found the koi pond, and the koi came up and swam with me, and it made me very happy. I don't think I scared it away. But it was magical, I assure you. This is the last kind of large pond that I found to swim in. I mean, not swim in, of course, but dip my fins in, so to speak. But I think this is probably the one that you don't want to. Actually, look at that little canal over there. I bet you that a lot of these bodies of water are connected so the koi can swim from pond to pond. It was magical. Gorgeous. This is the fun to swim in with a koi. Looks like some of the show of koi that I've uh, been looking at. This will be the outro because I'm actually gonna uh, gonna head out. The exit's right up there. But uh, thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun at Kabuta Kabuta Kubota Gardens. Dang it, man! <laughs> Kubota Gardens. Yes, that's where I am. That's where I am right now. You know, I did a, a test earlier uh, for my thyroid. And it, they included a cognition test because I mentioned I was being forgetful. And uh, I totally forgot what that was. So. But this is why I took the test. But, um, oh my god, no. There was a real reason why I was telling this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Because he kept asking, like, if I knew where I was. And I do I know where I am? <laughs> I'm at Kubota Gardens is where I am. That's a, I you know I passed that I ate that test. You know he kept telling me how Trump uh, uh, was bragging about that test. He had me draw a couple shapes. <laughs> he asked me if I knew where I was and if I could remember three items. Um, I don't know, man. If I can't even remember the name that I. Of the park that I've been in in several hours, for several hours. Uh, <laughs> Do I really pass my test? Uh, Kubota uh, Gardens. So check that out. Uh, Google it. Double check it. <laughs> in case they got it wrong. Oh my heavens, it has been a hell of a week. Alright, have a wonderful week. I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.